Kalonzo Msioka is promising yeah more revelations Kalonzo is promising that he will soon spill more beans because as me saying that it was never it was not an election it was a sham yeah what Kibukati did was a sham but not an, an, an election not an election <laughs> um Kenya is yet to see more dramas folks before you go on let me thing by saying hi to you I believe you're doing well, whatever you are. Now, of course, if you're new here, take your time, subscribe. We meet here always. Now, sit back, grab a cup of coffee, as you, of course, listen, listen to this. Um, now, um, you know, what Azimio wants is now remains a mystery. Like, people don't know what Azimio wants. Ruto, Ruto himself does not know what to do because he did not see it coming. A whistleblower has just exposed what the server holds. Yeah, The server that Supreme Court um, refused to order IBC or Kebukati to open. The Supreme Court or Kebukati himself refused to open the server and Rinder said that he wanted the server opened so that the results should be compared with the results that Kebukati released. So, as we saying that they are soon going to unhealth or, you know, to reveal more truth that of course will shock Kenyans. Now, um, you know, I will say here that Raila is a very clever politician and he knows when and where to attack. Raila waited for this perfect time to attack Ruto. Yeah? And of course, this is a way of this table or you know messing with Ruto's mind. Yeah. They call it psychological war or cold war. You know, already Odinga knows that Ruto has failed. Yeah, Kenyans now don't like him. That's what he knows. Because people are complaining. Yeah, remember the, you know, this can be evident, to, you know, from the fact that from the events, the Jamur events that Ruto held, that of course uh, was not full to capacity. The Mashuja Day event that of course Ruto was almost, almost addressed an empty ground. It shows that Kenyans, some Kenyans, not all Kenyans, some Kenyans have not accepted him as the president. And of course this can somehow be attributed to these results that uh, as Mr. listen because as me saying that Raila got 8.1 Ruto got 5.9 if it was true eh, let me assume that this is true then I think <laughs> you should be shocked because if at all Ruto got 5.9 and Raila got 8.4 8.1 it means that the results were interchanged yeah Maybe Ruto now <laughs> was given, maybe he, he was added maybe 2 million votes. Of course, we don't know what really happened, but that's what it means. Yeah? Now, um, you know, we saw UK meeting Rala Modinga, UK commissioner meeting Rala Modinga. The people are like, what's happening? Because UK commissioner was accused by Rala Modinga of helping or heading Chebukati the elections but right now they are meeting so is the americans is the uk exposing what is in the server that's the question asking ourselves because before Ella went to south africa they met and they talked and before that Ella claimed that uk was conspiring with usa and chibuka to of course you know bungle or you know stop him from ascending to power but now we are seeing them together so is the americans you know, releasing the results or the UK releasing the results that we are seeing. That's the question I think asking ourselves because um as Ruto messed with the UK or Americans, are they done have they missed? That's the, that's the question I think asking ourselves because these issues that they don't they don't have add up. Who is this whistleblower? Yeah, that has you know taken the all the risks expose this results yeah who has the guts except UK or, or Americans are they now fighting Ruto yeah are they fight, not fighting Ruto that's the question ourselves okay yeah are they fighting Ruto that's the question we asking ourselves folks um you know you know you know it's a fact that Okrella said that Americans made a deal with, with the Ruto 
you know, the issue of GMO. Yeah, Ruth wanted their support, and maybe in, re in return, Ruth would allow them to do their business here. And they're supposed, they were supposed to export the GMO food to Kenya. And so far, it has not happened. Is this the reason why all these things, all these things are happening? That's the question we're asking ourselves. We're not saying that this is what's happening, but we're just trying to just imagine. See, is this what is happening? Come and then tell me. Yeah? I'll be glad to answer your comment. Subscribe, like, share, so that we meet here always. And of course, my people, I hope I'll see you in the next video in good health. Thank you.